So this is the review of my track meet, my post meet review. I know I mentioned that I was going to post this up on my Instagram at the end of last week, but things just got a little busy at work. Uh, we've got clients coming in, alhamdulillah. Didn't really have the time to do all that. It's been a, slightly over a week since the track meet and I have, uh, I've managed to sort of gather my thoughts and uh, reflections on how I felt the event. Uh, first up, before anything, okay, I'm gonna roll the clip on how I performed. Just take a look at uh, how the race went down. Yeah. This is the final call for So as you can see, I finished dead last in my heats. There were supposed to be seven people in the heats, but three people didn't show up, so there were only four of us. I was the second oldest at 32 years old, which is not an excuse. I'm just trying to say that. Uh, not many people at my age are doing this sprinting stuff. Uh, majority of the field was about the age of 18 to 22, 23. Most of them are students in the universities or in the polytechnics. They've got uh, training in school. They represented either their school or their club outside. And I am returning to track. And of course, this being my first 100 meter race, I wasn't going to expect like myself to do really well on this one. Uh, I finished with a time of 14.54 or 57. I can't remember, but I'll post the timing here. Right, check out the screenshot and uh, that's how I did Alhamdulillah I'm glad to not be the last person on the field uh, but at the same time slightly disappointed with the timing that I got and it could be due to many factors it could be just that I am not fast and I'm, I'm pretty heavy and I need to work more uh, in training and you know prepare a bit longer because I only prepared for this meet about eight weeks out yeah I'll give myself another year work on some body composition goals try to lose a bit more weight because fat don't fly and then I'll probably give it a go again next year at the 100 and if tolerable 200 as well which I yeah totally skipped on this year because I had a class in the morning and uh, if you all really know or don't know I have a, I'm going through some knee problems some knee issues some knee pain a telephomoral pain basically not too sure exactly what the cause is I don't think it's a tendinopathy I don't think uh, there's a tear or anything it's just pain that's been there for a while. I've been having problems coming out of the blocks or going for accelerations right from a dead start. If you take a look at my video, you'd see that I kind of had a very slow start uh, coming out of the blocks. Uh, my first step was slow, it wasn't as explosive as uh, what I felt I could do or come up with in training. Another reason for that could be also because of the lack of warm-up that I had because you know the entire competition, right? I'm not blaming it on the organizers or anything, but like it was super stressful for me because I was the only one. I had no coach, no manager, no teacher, nobody to uh, run the logistics side of things for me. I had to do it myself. And it felt really stressful because I had to listen up for my name and at the same time get myself warmed up. I didn't really get much of a warm up in. Missed my call time, to be honest. Uh, we actually missed the final call and almost did not. Uh, get to race the 100 meters. Thankfully, we had the uh, one of the officials there who was holding on to the paper, and yeah, they decided to just let us race. So I really thank them, uh, thank the organizers for you know allowing us to race when we were late for the final call. Uh, and then right after the final call, I didn't have much time to warm up because I was like anxious and waiting for my name to be called up. So. Of course, I was just standing around, jumping here and there, didn't get my proper full warm-up in. Managed to try the blocks twice before actually being called up for my own heats. And during my heats itself, you know, I totally blanked out and had no idea what I was doing with the blocks and, you know, totally screwed up the setup of my blocks. And that, I believe, uh, affected my timing, especially when it came to the actual race itself. All I can say is that my plan coming up for the next time I do a track and field meet, which is probably sometime next year, is to be a little bit more prepared and uh, you know, have somebody around with me to help me listen up for my name and look out for me so that uh, I won't be too anxious trying to listen up for announcements and stuff like that. Yeah, Having somebody around to be able to manage uh, time and stuff for you takes a lot of the stress out. 
I'll be honest, it was a really stressful race. Compared to High Rocks, I was so relaxed during High Rocks. I was like easy going and not thinking much about it. While this race was just mental, it took a lot of, uh, yeah, it took a lot out of me, uh, especially in my mind. And uh, yeah, things that I would work on is to just you know be able to manage time better uh, as we go forward. Uh, in terms of training wise, uh, right now I am trying to fix my knee, so it's I'm going through some sort of a rehab for a couple of weeks. Trying to fix them up, trying to just ease into lifting heavier weights and going back into like explosive stuff, adding sprints back in later on. Uh, just a couple of weeks on the rehab stuff, I've been doing lots of isometrics and slow controlled reps. We're gonna slowly build myself back up from the pace, get sprinting back on the track uh, sometime next month or in a month or two or something, uh, depending on how my knees feel. I'm gonna do a proper off-season build into the next track meet that I decide to join. I will probably join the track and field club uh, maybe once a week or something. I'll see what my options are out there. And uh, if all is good, then maybe I'll race more than one track meet next year. If not, Pesta Suka next year, I'm going to be back for you again. I'm going to try and beat my PR. Now that I have a timing to my name for the 100 meter dash, all I've got to do is just beat that timing and continuously try to improve and beat that timing uh, as time goes by. This whole sprinting thing, I know is not in like a one and done kind of thing. I want to be doing this for the rest of my life. I want to be able to sprint until I'm in my 50s, 60s, 70s. Heck, even if I'm in the 80s and I can sprint, I will still do that. Because I believe that sprinting itself is the fountain of youth. So hopefully I can keep sprinting uh, for the rest of my life. Uh, yeah, that's about it. That's the update for the post meet review. I hope that was helpful or something. I hope you kind of get a closure on my track meet uh, story. As soon as my schedule frees up or as soon as I like get used to my current schedule, um, things will be running back normal. It's been a while since I actually managed to post a daily content and I'm trying to get back on roll. I'm trying to get back onto that, da posting daily on my Instagram. But right now, to be honest, it's not that much of a priority because I think my clients at work uh, are my priority and uh, Instagram is just something that's fun to do at, at times. Uh, just trying to get my uh, thoughts and views out there. Alright, that's enough yapping for today. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more of my uh, dad fitness stuff. Alright, take care. I'll see you guys soon.